A tragic ending to a missing person story out of Robeson County. Late last night, authorities found the body of 20-year-old Wendy Jones. WRL's Gilbert Bays spoke with the Robeson County Sheriff, who says Jones' boyfriend dismembered her and buried her in a shallow grave outside Maxton. Well, this is just a very sad story. We were out here this afternoon when some friends came by to put this cross and these balloons here. Wendy Jones missing since August 12th. Her remains were found last night just inside those woods. You could have never fooled me in a million years that my cousin would have done this. Tony Hunt is pointing to the spot where 20-year-old Wendy Jones's body was found last night in the woods outside of Maxton. His cousin is 24-year-old Glenlock Lear, charged with first-degree murder in Jones's death. Her mother and father are devastated. She was a good mother. She always come to the house and hang out with me and her daddy. I mean, we always bond together. We always cook out and have fun and everything. She was always quiet, just sit around. And on this way, a lot of times you can get her to talk if, if you interact with her. She was always down to earth. After searching for nearly two weeks, Sheriff Bernice Wilkins says his investigators found Jones's body in a shallow grave off Juanita Road. The suspect had dismembered her and put her in plastic bags and put her in a wooded area, uh, actually next to a daycare center off of Juanita Road out of Maxton. The sheriff says this is the third violent death of a Robinson County woman in the past 10 months. In October of last year, 42-year-old Jessica Lawrence of St. Paul's was last seen leaving her job at Cape Fear Valley Medical Center in Fayetteville. Her body was discovered October 25th in a wooded area outside of Roland. 42-year-old Michael Brayboy is charged with her murder. Then in April, the body of 38-year-old Jessica Locklear was found in the woods near Cabinet Shop Road in Robinson County. 36-year-old Cedric Locklear is charged in her death. And they've all been brutal deaths. Uh, two of them were burned, and then now this one has been dismembered. Family and friends of all the victims are trying to make sense of these tragic losses. It's devastating either way you look at it, because. Nobody really, did, nobody deserves this. Now, Locklear is being held without bond in the Robinson County Detention Center. Family members tell us they're going to have a balloon release for Wendy Jones this weekend. In Robinson County, Gilbert Bays, WRL News. And what a horrible story. Investigators say they found Jones' body not far from where she lived in the Red Hill community of Robinson County.